Sir, I'm going in a meeting at 6 o'clock, and I want to get your judgment on. Uh, we think that there's a strong possibility that there was a SAM site number 6 and 7. We've known about five. Photography was taken on the 20th and was read out in Saigon, but they did not read out 6 and 7. It got in here Friday night, the night they knocked your plane out, and our boys here thought it indicated a SAM site. Uh, about 40 miles out, much farther than the others. Looks like they're, they're moving them on out, you see, to ultimately bring them on down. The best guessing, and it's pure guessing, as they study it from day to day, is it was six and seven, one of the others that launched the missile that knocked the plane down Friday night and the drone down last night. It could have been a mobile one in the same general area, but they saw the fire from this same general area, which we've got marked on the map, which is about 25 or 30 miles uh, west, I guess, of the others. Off to the left, I guess that's where. Something like a hawk. Uh, it's mobile. Yeah, that's what they think. They think it's a mobile. All of them are mobile. But they think it's a... Uh, we, they say they're mobile. We don't necessarily contend they're mobile. But we think it could be a mobile one or one that we would number six or seven. Now, uh, the recommendations vary. Uh, Westmoreland says that we ought to take out everything simultaneously. He's just really a firefighter. He's an old South Carolina boy, and I guess he's been out there messing with him long enough and he's getting fed up with him. Uh, Sharp says take out. Who is Sharp? He is the man in charge of it all at Honolulu, Admiral Sharp. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. He says take out uh, the 6 and 7 if you can find it. Nobody knows whether you can find them, or nobody knows whether you can hit them. And if it's mobile, you don't know what you'll ever get. Taylor says take out 6 and 7 at a minimum right away. The Wheeler and the Joint Chiefs are real tough on taking out 6 and 7 immediately. They'd be glad to take out everything in the whole Southeast Asia, but they really want to take these out. I don't mean to leave the impression that, uh, that they're limiting their recommendation 6 or 7. That's what they're recommending, but they'd be happier if you took everything out. McNamara thinks you've got to take them out, and the quicker the better. If you don't, you'll send a false signal to Russia that uh, uh, she can do this with impunity and she can move on down. And pretty soon we'll have no planes in the air. We can't put them in the air because they'll knock them out. He is very conservative, uh, notwithstanding what people think. And he holds down the military a good deal. Did, uh, were you of that opinion? Yes, I think he... Most of them I, think he's a hawk and that he's always raising hell to go to war. I think he got military where they're though, uh, somewhat uh, be a second scribe in expressing himself freely, but I don't think he's a by himself necessarily. No. They, they express themselves fully to me. I've had them over here for hours at a time. All of them, and they've gone around the table, each one of them. And some of them are awfully irresponsible. They just scare you. They were ready to put a million men in right quick and all that 500,000 General Green says and stuff like that. So, uh, on the other side, Rusk thinks that we ought to go and take these sites out. Ball and some of them have some doubts, uh, particularly Ball and Goldberg and Humphrey kind of wobbled on both sides. I'm meeting at 6 o'clock. We think that the Russians are manning them. We don't want to say that. We don't want anybody to know that. We hope it doesn't get published. Oh, we I hope it does. I man by North Beach to me. Well, we don't know, but uh, we... I don't know, but uh, I, of course, I think the Russians got people there showing them how to shoot them, but I would never mention that. We don't want to put them behind the wall where they got to fight back if we can help it, and that's why I'm trying to hold down this play. You see, we agreed with them 
When we told what our defense budgets was, we said, now ours is $2 billion lower, you lower yours, and they did. When we cut out this nuclear production I told you about last year, you wondered why it hadn't been cut out before it was running out of our ears when I first came in as president. Yeah. They cut out theirs. Now then, uh, I don't want to come up and say I'm just going to ho have a hell of a lot of billions of dollars because they've just been meeting, and the Chinese uh, uh, people and the Ru Russian people are still together. And they're trying, Vietnam's trying to pull the two back together, and I think if any big dramatic announcement on my part, we'll throw them together. That's what our Russian experts think. So in 10 minutes, 5 minutes from now, they're coming in here to decide what to do about the SAM side. The weight of opinion is pretty solidly on taking out 6 and 7 tonight. McNamara just walked. You don't know where 6 and 7 are. No. Well, they've got pictures of them where they are. Six and seven? Yeah. 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 They've got that. Friday night, they they picked it up on the 20th. Last Friday night, which was uh, uh, the 23rd, it got in here. The pictures did. They were in Saigon on the 20th. They were photographed. The 23rd, they got in here. We read them out and read the sites. Said, hell, here's two extra SAM sites. We picked up five, here's six and seven. But they're not sure that this firing, although the firing looks like the boys identified it, if their navigation is right, the firing came from six or seven or mobile, which was at six and seven or in that vicinity. Now, anyway, all of our people want to go take six and seven out. I'd take them every one out. Well, uh, I'll take them every one out because if you miss these and uh, they happen not to get them, uh, you're in a hell of a fix. And I'd at least take out one other that I knew exactly where it was. Well, if you do, I'd get you. If you do, I'd get you in the Hanoi area. Well, I'd get I, you in I, civilians. I, I, I'd get you in the world upset. I just can't do that on these others. They're not bothering me. My targets, not a damn bit. These two are right in line with all the targets I've got. That's worth a damn. And I can't send my boys up there without knocking them down. Uh, the Hanoi ones don't bother me too much. Well, I'd sure get one other that I knew I could knock. Well, it's so well known I couldn't miss it. I, I, I'd get them all for my part if I had my way because uh, if, they, if they've got, uh, you know, those things got longer range and you give them credit for they can shoot you 40, 50 miles away. And uh, well, the big question I got to decide is do or don't her on six and seven? Well, You'd I, say I, yes, would you? The question is yes, the answer to that would be yes, but I certainly would get one other one that I knew exactly. Well, if I do, I'd go into Hanoi. They're all in a perimeter of 15 miles from Hanoi. And these boys getting off, you're going to hit the goddamn capital, and you'll have them all in the war in 15 minutes, in my judgment, when you go to bomb in Hanoi. I think they're trying to trap us into doing that. Well, uh, our CIA thinks they moved a lot of the government out of Hanoi. Well. I'm just telling you what I think about these others. We'll debate that later. This one is right up now. Well, I'd, I'd say yes, get them tonight if we could, but I'd hate like hell to try to get them and miss well, them. Well, we think it. We think it. We we think we're likely to miss them. We don't think we've got any more chance to get them than the others. The others mobile one. Well, these five they got, they may just have strips of ground that look like a landing strip and have mobile ones that they move in just like a trailer and move out. It's just like our whole kid. Yeah. Okay, that's what I want to say, and I'll talk to you later, bud. All right. Now, what I think I'm going to do on these, uh, on this other thing, is I think I'm going to work out a deal where I extend, I give Westmoreland what he needs in about three increments, thirty, forty thousand each. Send the division right away from down to Fort Benning. Yes. And then uh, give three or four, uh, three or four right quick, and then. Uh, I mean, uh, that division right quick, then do it in two or three increments between now and 1st December. Uh, you have uh, one damn good soldier out there named Walter Brown Russell, Jr. He's is, a, is he in that crowd? Yes, sir. He's uh, we're wounded in Korea and one knows. He knows he's going, does he? Oh, yeah, they all know it. They're just sitting there waiting for it. They just so, know that division was tailored just for a feet. So, uh, it's, it's light division. That we don't think it will, there. don't think we'll ask for much money because we don't want to blow this thing up. I'm with you on that, and I've argued this then, one with John Stennis about it. I didn't see a bit of need of, uh, of uh, 
President today. We don't that. think we'll need any legislation. We think we'll tell them to get the reserve plans ready and everything. So if next year we do, then I'm going to do everything I can with this Jew up to the United Nations and everywhere in the world to find a way to get out without saying so. But if I can't do that, January I'll have to decide on reserves. But I don't think I'll call them up now. I think it's too dramatic. I think it it commits me where I can't get out and it puts me out there further than I want to get right at the moment. Does that make sense to you? Yes, uh, if, uh, except it adds to old Ho Chi Minh's argument that, you, that we ain't going to stay in there, that we're going to pull out, and, and uh, it may ease the pressure that we might have had, had hoped that Russia would put on to get him out. What do you think? All our preserves, they understand that language, they understood it in Berlin, they understand that, and, uh, well, I'm not. Well, if I extend the enlistments, I don't know what uh, what they. If I extend, if I put a hundred thousand out there, they'll understand it. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm afraid they'll understand it too much. I don't have to have the reserves to do that. No. And I'm going to step up my draft calls, you double them. Send many more than hundred thousand. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to try to send more. Where, where, where it's get below the safe margin. I'm not going to try to send more. I'm just going to send a little less, maybe. Well. You've been living with it every minute. I, I, I just live with it at night. I never worked yeah. on anything as hard in my life. I've had every human being. You know, it driven me mad. I, I just, it's the only thing I've ever hit in my life I didn't have some quick answer to, but I haven't got one to this. I, I, I have thought from the time they started those exams, I'd say that we ought not be mad. Should I have, should I have the leaders in? I want to have them in two groups, the leaders first, and then the foreign relations and foreign affairs, and the, uh, armed services and all that group so I can get them in one room. Uh, then uh, how, how much time should I have them before I make my announcement? Do you think I ought to send a message to Congress or just make a statement? I'm not going to need any appropriation or any legislation about, what? about the legislation, and I don't need any, and I don't need any appropriation about my decisions out there. Can I just give a statement, say I'm going to send 30,000 in the next few days and 30,000 more, and be a total of 100,000 additional that will be added? And, and if I do need anything, I'll call you back. And if I don't, y'all can call yourself back if you want to come. And this is all I'm going to do now. I don't want to dramatize it and throw Russia. And I don't uh, be in such a... If, if that's the way you're going to play it, I'd play it down. But I, I You wouldn't have a joint session. I'm on the actual fighting because oh. those people over there playing for keep. Well, I'm putting 100,000 in there. Gosh, I've moved 150,000 in the last 90 days. Is all the first division got there yet? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I've got eighty thousand there, and I've got a hundred. I've got a hundred thousand that I'm going to authorize. I don't know. It has a mighty good psychological effect uh, to call up some reserves. I think this Fourth Marine Division has been sitting around expecting it for a month. Yeah, but it upsets the hell out of them, and they 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 immediately. Go to, they're pressing them for commitments now that they're not getting from Russia. And I don't want to force them. Well, I, of course, God knows I don't. And, I, and the last thing I want, and the thing that scares me was is that these damn Vietnamese are just going to say, well, here's your war, go ahead and take it, and they'll quit fighting. That's what I've been looking for them to do. That, that little old mustache fellow was on the television, he indicated that we ought to fight the war, and his troops ought to pass by the villages in the rear. God, that's just scared the hell out of me. If they're going to they try to fight that kind of war, I'm in favor of getting out of that. They ain't gonna, they're not going to really fight. The Koreans fought every inch of the way and increased their personnel from month to month, every month, even when they were taking staggering losses. They were increasing their units and, uh, and, and the total number as well. And these people are letting theirs run down. They, they, they're not uh, making any real effort over there now. Well, I've got to get word out to all my other nations, and I've got to get word out to trying to get some more help, which I can't get from them. I've got to talk to the leadership. <laughs> Would you think that uh, you don't think I ought to have a joint session, do you? Don't well, you think I wasn't going to call up in reserves and all, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm not going to ask any legislation. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I see no case. Would you send a message at all in, just explaining what I'm doing? Or would you just make a I television think statement? I'd do it just through, make a television I think I'd do it through the television. I think to make some of the fellows up here feel like they were sort of on the inside, I'd call in some of the That's what I'm gonna leading do. members of the committee. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.